Welcome to this episode of Aston1936.com. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the slam panel, which is this panel in the engine bay that covers over the radiators, attaches to the front grill assembly, covers up the hood latch. So if you have to work on something that's underneath here, you have to pull off this panel. Good news is it's pretty straightforward and I'm going to show you how. So you only need uh, a couple of tools to remove the engine slam panel cover. Um, really, they all just revolve around, you need a T30 uh, Torx uh, bit to remove the screws. And uh, my advice would be to have an extension and uh, your ratchet to do that. Um, after you, you know, if you've got something like this, you can use a, uh, an electric tool to replace the ratchet. You're gonna be taking a lot of screws out. It's always handy to have a, a work light and you know a microfiber towel to look after things. All right, so let's get the um, slam panel removed from the car. Uh, so we're going to be working in here. Um, a magnetic uh, screw tray would also be good. I didn't mention that in the tools section, but a place to throw. There's 18 screws. We all ha have to remove. They're all T30. So we're going to buzz those out and we're going to be careful because we're going to be working near the paint. Um, so you just don't want to, you know, nick this up with your uh, wrench. So I'm going to use my electric tool for this. So now that I have all 18 screws removed, um, it's, we can lift the panel out, which is pretty straightforward. So you just want to be careful because you're going to have metal edges near your uh, paint. So you might want to even throw a little uh, blue tape up on the, uh, the quarter panels. But it basically just um, lifts up in a way. Yeah. Do it carefully. And uh, there you have it, uh, one slam panel removed. And we can have a look uh, underneath here, just so you can see what you reveal once the slam panel's out. Uh, you can see your cross member support. You can actually see your original paint color and your car number. And there's 1936, so there's my car number, Aston1936.com. You can see my car is Merlot Red. It's AST standard color 1342, and my primer is light gray. So um, that's the hidden reveal then for the paint. Um, so here's the radiator core uh, sitting in here. This is, um, I believe, the air conditioning core uh, sitting in front of it. And there's still one more radiator that would be underneath this cover. If we look in through the lower grill, you can actually see uh, the oil cooler and the transmission uh, uh, cooler lines are all buried in behind. So they're all underneath um, and access through here. These are the brake air in, or the, sorry, these are your air cleaner inlet ducts. So fresh air comes in the front through the grill and this goes under the inlet of the air box. And there's one of those on either side. There's the hood release, at least for a American left-hand drive car. And uh, so a lot of stuff's tucked away under this slam panel. Um, it's also a good time to point out to you that those screws that I was removing go into these, um, these clips. So they're not going into like nuts that are in really strong bolts. So when we're putting things back in, we're gonna wanna be delicate so we don't strip these things out. These can strip pretty easily. Some of them are going into PEM studs that are, you know, have real threads and stuff. But the majority of this stuff is going into flimsy, um, Things. So you don't want to go, you know, all Hulk and uh, strip these things out. Otherwise, you're going to be buying some cl replacement clips too. So as you can see, removing your slam panel cover is pretty easy. Little shout out to Paul Goddard for my final inspector uh, for, you know, checking out my car. And uh, so now you can go ahead and do whatever work you had uh, planned. And um, I'm going to do another video on how to put this back properly and torque the bolts. 
So you'll probably see a link to it up here. Um, I'll also have a companion article down here that, uh, at aston1936.com that lists the tools and parts and maybe a few other tidbits that I didn't say in this video. Um, if you want to get notified of when I have new video releases and because you, you like them, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and as always, I'd love to hear your comments if you could leave those down below. Thanks for watching.